It tells us that Matt and Ben are the only two producers of gadgets, and they both have many loyal customers, but some customers would switch if the other firm's price were low enough. It, it then gives, goes on to give us some information about the game, and it says that the players choose strategies simultaneously, and we want to find what is the Nash equilibrium. So your question may say something like, is it a Nash equilibrium for this to happen and for this to happen? Well, we're just going to define all what a Nash equilibrium is and what are the Nash equilibrium of this game. Well, first let's talk about what choosing strategies simultaneously means. It doesn't necessarily mean in the fashion that we like to think of simultaneous as happening at the same time. It's more Matt doesn't know what Ben's going to do when he chooses his strategy. So it's not that they both choose strategies on Monday at the same time. It's that Matt has no idea what Ben's doing when he chooses his strategy. Likewise, Ben doesn't know what Matt's doing when he chooses his strategy. So Matt's deciding, am I going to price, am I going to go after these price conscious customers aggressively or am I not? He makes his decision with no idea of what Ben's, what Ben's going to do. That's what we mean by simultaneously in this context. Well, we want to draw a game box to answer this question when we have a simultaneous move game. We put Ben on top, Matt on the side, and we have the actions of either guy. We can either be aggressive or not. So let's start reading through that paragraph. It says if one aggressively goes after the price conscious customers, the aggressive firm will make 22 and the other firm will make 12. So those are these two corner boxes. When Matt's aggressive and Ben's not, Matt makes 22, Ben makes 12. When Ben's aggressive and Matt's not, Ben makes 22, Matt makes 12. This top left corner box is when both of them go after the price conscious customers. They're both aggressive and they both make 10. This bottom right corner box is when neither of them go after the price conscious customers and they both make $20 in this case. So to find the Nash equilibrium, I've color coded these guys just for simplicity here. Matt is going to choose what he's going to do based on Ben's options. So we're going to compare downward. So Ben can either be aggressive or not. So first let's look at when Ben's aggressive, what will Matt choose to do? Well, he has a choice between $10 and a choice between $12. He'll choose 12. When Ben is not aggressive, Matt has a choice between $22 and $20. He'll choose 22. Likewise, Ben, we're going to compare across the board. We're going to look at what Matt's choices are. If Matt is aggressive, Ben has a choice between 10 and 12. He's going to choose 12. And if Matt is not aggressive, Ben has a choice between 22 and 20. He's going to choose 22. So a Nash equilibrium is where we have two stars in one box. It's an intersection of mutual best responses. Here we see that one Nash equilibrium is where Matt aggressively pursues price conscious customers and Ben doesn't. And another Nash equilibrium is where Ben aggressively pursues price conscious customers and Matt doesn't. 